I'm Rhoda and I'm here to talk about marvelous, mysterious magnets. Now magnets were first discovered by the ancient Greeks when they noticed that the nails in their shoes were attracted to certain rocks. We call those rocks lodestone or magnetite. It's attractive enough to pick up a paperclip. Now to really understand magnets, you're gonna need a degree in quantum physics. But we can explore a lot of fun demonstrations and experiments with them and learn a little bit. Magnets have special particles that align themselves into domains. We call those domains the north and south domains. Much like our Earth has north and a south pole. That's because the Earth is a geomagnet. Now some people think magnets will stick to anything. Let's find out. We have some plastic, some wood. Nope, won't stick to those materials. We need a material that's gonna come into the influence of the magnetic field. Not even all metals are attracted to magnets. Check out copper. Nope. Aluminum? Nope. You're gonna need something that's iron, nickel, or cobalt. Now magnets have their particles aligned to two domains. We call that the North and the South Pole. Often you'll see it on a bar magnet marked by an N or an S. When like poles are brought together, they actually repel push each other apart. But flip it around, and when you have opposite poles, they attract. We can also see that demonstrated when you have a ring magnet and a pencil. We also call these donut magnets. Stack them together with opposite poles and they'll attract. But if you find the same poles and stack them, they will repel. That power is even strong enough to defy gravity. When an iron object is under the influence of a magnetic field, it can become a temporary magnet. Take that iron nail away from the magnet, not a magnet anymore. So it's important to remember we have magnetic metals which are different than magnets. Magnetic metals can be turned into temporary magnets. That's kind of how an electric magnet works. An electromagnet has an iron core, just like a jumbo nail. Now wrapped around it is copper wire. When we pass an electric current through these coils of copper, we can create a magnetic field and turn it on and off at will. This is a pretty strong magnet. In fact, it can lift a chair. Let's check it out. So here's our electromagnet. Again, iron core, lots of copper wire. It's a temporary magnet because without the electric current, it's not magnetized. When we flip this switch, we'll get the electric current moving through the copper wire. Now all the magnetic domains within our iron core are gonna align, and this is what happens. we create a magnet strong enough to lift this chair. If I hit the switch, it stops attracting. You can learn how to make your own electromagnet on our Science World Resources site. Check it out. <laughs>